Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I don't think it would be an exaggeration to say one of the most popular fathers on the planet <laughs> is Habib Narmagomedov's father. And especially in MMA. I don't think we know anybody else's father other than the father of Habib. And it is only for good reasons. The fact that he's worked so hard on his son and his son has made it on a on the grand stage of the world and I mean he has impressed not only in terms of his fighting but in terms of his character, his manners, the exemplification of his religion, his character, his morals. Uh, you know what Habib has a special place in my heart because um, the first 100,000 subscribers that I got, I remember I was following his story and his story really boosted my channel. And ever since then, each any time a fight comes up, I look at his interviews and obviously I'm looking for material. And every time there is emphasis, mashallah, on his father, <laughs> on, on, on his kind of relationship with the fighter, especially after Connor. I, I think in terms of faith, in terms of spirituality, a lot of people feel this kind of hopelessness because of the promiscuity that we see, the godlessness, the capitalism, materialism, how people are you know, far away from God and how people are succumbing to their desires and you know in such a shameless manner. And then you have somebody that, mashallah, he's so pure. Now, I'm not saying it in a sense that he is not a human and he's not going to falter, he's not going to make mistakes. Obviously, we have, there's no such thing as role models. Our role model is the Prophet Sallallahu and of course, the pious that have passed away. Yeah, because their lives are there in front of us. But the fact that Habib came, and I guess it was because he came from such a pure environment, yeah, the, the, the wilderness, the mountains, yeah, Dagestan. I, I thought that was, it was a breath of fresh air. And the credit goes, this is the point that I wanted to get to, the credit goes to his father. And the fathers that are watching, you do not understand the power that you have in creating people like Habib or better than Habib. Yeah, there might be people out there, there might be Habibs in in, in, I don't know, other faculties and other sports and other aspects that may not be that famous. But fathers have this. And the sad reality is with the breaking up of the family unit and the roles and responsibilities of parents becoming intertwined and broken and just just messed up. Um, I guess it's, it's a good time for us to kind of take a stock and see that when parenting goes right, this is the fruits of the labor. Yeah, this is what you see, the likes of Habib. And to be honest, humanity really needs people like Habib, people like his father that just embody just the, just the pure, unadulterated aspects of Islam. I don't think, to be honest, no parents got parenting on lockdown, no child's got childhood on lockdown, we can be better children, we can be better parents. Let's face it, some parents are douchebags, some kids are douchebags. The thing is, I mean life is filled with people that are trying their best and yeah? no one's perfect. That's what it means to be a human being. We try the best with what we have and you know what, we keep going. We keep going till our last breath, we keep trying our best. We don't want to go with regrets and yeah man, I, I don't think parenthood and the respect of parents gets emphasized enough, especially in the celebrity culture. <laughs> I think I think this is the only instance where parenthood has <laughs> and does get and, and I can see the commentators, they, they question him a lot and it's because it's very unusual. Yeah, that sort of relationship that used to be standard hundreds of years ago, but now it's seen as very rare. Yeah, after 16 people just go off and it's a very distant relationship between parents and, and their kids. But yeah, I think it was very nice. It was very nice and obviously we pray that Allah grants his father the highest ranks in Jannah and Habib is, you know, 
he's uh, Allah gives him patience to deal with uh, this this rough time that he's going through and yeah may Allah give us time to kind of reflect upon our relationship with our parents and and what we can do as well I guess let's leave it there guys until next time Assalamu Alaikum